But I think really importantly, it shows that renewable energy projects of scale can work you know, here in Alberta, here in the heart of oil country. Welcome to Global Energy Show's 5 by 5 I'm Rachel Gregory. We've been sharing so many advancements when it comes to solar and renewable energy projects, and I'm so excited to be chatting today with Dan Balaban, co-founder, president, and CEO of Greengate Power, a company that is actually constructing one of Canada's largest solar project ventures and is very committed to clean, green energy projects. Thank you so much, Dan, for joining us. Thank you, Rachel. Could you tell us about Greengate Power, what it is you guys do and your mission as a company? We develop renewable energy projects of unprecedented scale in the heart of oil country right here in Alberta. Right now we're working on one of the largest solar energy projects in the world, by far the largest in Canada, in southern Alberta, about an hour and a half south of Calgary. It's a project called Traverse Solar. It's going to have about one and a half million solar panels spread over uh, 3,000 acres of, of land. It's going to provide a clean source of power to more than 150,000 homes. But I think really importantly, it shows that renewable energy projects of scale can work you know, here in Alberta, here in the heart of oil country. Why would you say Alberta is the perfect place for energy projects, renewable energy projects like this? We're the sunshine state of the north. Our solar resource in Alberta is as good as the solar resource in Florida. We have the only deregulated power generation market in Canada. We have a very strong uh, carbon tax regime on large industrial emitters. A significant amount of our power today comes from coal, which is all being phased out over the next several years. We have uh, growing needs uh, for power in this province. There's electrification uh, going on in the world and energy transition going on in the world. And I think all that points to increasing demand for power going forward. You know, I believe a significant chunk of that new power demand in Alberta going forward can come from renewable. Alberta is just generally an entrepreneurial, easy place to do business. And I think you put all those ingredients together, it makes Alberta a fantastic potential destination for renewable energy investment. Biden administration has vocalized that they're uh, very passionate and supportive of renewable energy and renewable energy projects. So how do you see that impacting us here in Canada economically and in the future? You know, the Biden election, I think just and, and his, uh, you know, very ambitious clean energy objectives, you know, really just send a directional signal to the world. You know, the world's largest economy is uh, accelerating its transition to clean energy. I think the impact of that is going to reverberate across the world. Here in Canada, you know, our own federal government has put out some ambitious plans of our own net zero by 2050. You know, another example that the world's largest economies are moving in the direction and that Canada is moving in step with global trends. Here at the Global Energy Show, our mission is to drive those vital conversations about integrated energy and Canada's opportunity for global leadership. So considering that there isn't just one single source of energy that can meet all of those needs and the demand, how do you see renewables and the oil and gas sector collaborating together, both short term in the next two to three years and perhaps longer term as we reach net zero 2050? So I think the energy discussions become unnecessarily polarized in this country and you know other parts of the world as well. It's been framed as uh, you know oil and gas versus renewables, but I think it's an and. I think we should be developing our oil and gas and renewable energy resources going forward. You know, the world is going through uh, an energy transition. It's a transition that is accelerating. For the foreseeable future, we need both fossil fuels and renewable energy in our power mix. That mix is going to change. We're going to see more and more of our energy coming from renewables. The amount of time that takes is still to be determined, but I think it's really important that we're uh, investing in both so we can remain relevant today and re relevant and prosperous uh, for generations to come. What was your inspiration in founding Greengate Power? Um, and you know, what gets you out of bed in the morning? Growing up here, I developed a tremendous love of nature and an interest in environmental issues. I ended up starting a software company which provided software solutions to the oil and gas sector, among which included helping oil and gas companies I report their greenhouse gas emissions. That got me exposure into what I saw as the looming environmental challenges that the energy sector would face. And I knew the next business I wanted to start was something green, something that could uh, have a positive environmental benefit and a positive economic benefit. Because ultimately, I think that's what business is about. Business has a purpose to make money for our shareholders, but also 
leave a positive lasting impact on the world. That's my inspiration for Greengate. Thank you so much, Dan. It was so great learning about Greengate Power. You guys are doing tr amazing things. You have a wonderful mission and um, it's so great to see companies like yours, you know, staying committed to that outcome of, of clean energy production. So thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Yeah, thank you for your interest in our story. It was great chatting with you, Rachel. Hey.